Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week 8 of our PGBL matches. This is going to be a wild match against Leo, 6 foot hacks himself. I think I matched up pretty much as well as I could have here. This is going to be the squad right here. So I really wanted to play for Disruption, right? This is a Scarf Switcheroo Ambipom. This is a Specs Trick Gardevoir. This is a fully defensive Politoed with Parish Song and Whirlpool. So it is in my head that probably the best thing to trap in would probably be either the Clef Key or the um or the snorlax the rest is pretty self-explanatory my speed on ludicolo can outspeed a scarfed infernape in rain and just a fully defensive uh swamper guard of war is ev to take a plus one thousand arrows after rocks which never come up on either side but regardless i think we have the matchup here i think we can do things i was struggling with leads i end up leading with guard of war here i kind of wanted to scare out any potential zygarde lead in particular but also kind of wanting to beat in the snorlax he ends up leading with the Klefki here so i kind of feel like this is a bit of an opportunity um there's no real use in moon black into this thing even though specs moon blast will do about half but depending on if it's max hp or whatever it could not even do half which kind of scared me so i just go for the turn one trick immediately um it gives it specs now i found out later that it's only attacking move was uh play rough so this thing has like screens toxic you'll see right here um stuff like that but uh it's going to not be able to do much unless it um can set up a screen late game or just um tank some hits late game or get a crucial toxic late game as well i feel okay about this i switch right out into the cell sealer because i feel like this thing's going to switch out here my cell sealer has an amazing matchup in this game but out comes uh the snorlax i did kind of expect the snorlax but what i did not expect at all uh and i just go for the earthquake here just to gauge damage trying to get a feel for what this is it is clearly a reasonably defensive Snorlax. I don't think it's max max or anything like that, but uh, it is a pretty darn defensive Snorlax. And my Celestila is max HP, max defense here, or close to it. And um, we can see that we're doing about equal damage to each other. But this matchup is still never going to be great for me. I switch out. I, I did expect uh, the Snorlax to come out, but uh, I wanted to kind of gauge how much damage it is. I go into Swapper. Uh, just to try to tank some hits. Now, I kind of wanted to go to Swampert right here to try and bait in the Vaporeon, or, or, or at the very least, um, see what happened here. I wanted uh, to bait something in, right? To That would kind of deal with this. But it just kind of stays in, and uh, switching into this thing was a bit of a misplay if he stays in, which he obviously did. So at this point... I mean, if anything, I thought, like, look, I'll, I'll come in, I'll tank a hit. This is this is more or less almost max HP, max defense. And I think he's going to, and my thinking was, he's going to see how little it does and then try to switch into a better matchup. He never does that. So it becomes pretty clear that uh, this thing is not going to do anything to scare it out or be in the Vaporeon. I just switch out here. I'm in a really bad spot. This Snorlax is already doing way more damage than I would expect it to or I wanted to at all. But this is another more or less max HP, max defense Pokemon. I feel like I can take hits reasonably well, and we can try and do some do some baiting. Um, and this is I actually do scare this thing out into the, and bait out the Vaporeon. But this uh, Politoed can't touch the Vaporeon at all. So I go for the Protect, actually thinking that it might stay in, and I wanted to gauge, I wanted to figure out whether or not I could, um, Whirlpool it, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to scout that out, but it switches out, I never actually get the Whirlpool off, so I just go into my Ludicolo here, this Ludicolo, uh, as it says up a substitute, and I get my own substitute up as it goes for a substitute again, I'm not sure what that was about, it was possibly a misclick, but, uh, my Ludicolo here has Hydro Pump, Sub, uh, Ice Beam, and Seed Bomb. Speed Bomb is specifically for the Vaporeon. Now, Max HP Vaporeon, 60 EVs, I believe it was. Um, 60 attack EVs in, into Ludicolo will more or less two hit a Vaporeon, a, a Max HP Vaporeon. And from there, we, we would have to gauge um, how much defense EVs it has. Uh, I still don't know, actually. Like, talking to you right now. But... Um, it just baton passes into the Snorlax, right? And I'm kind of stuck again because I can't, I'm not doing much with the Seed Bomb and the Snorlax is once again in a position to just, um, 
deal damage to my team and I don't really have a response for it or much of a response for it right so I just uh, stay in here for a little while I try to you know deal some free damage behind the sub um, but this is a life orb uh, Ludicolo so it's not like I can just sit behind the sub forever and like regain HP or anything like that. And literally everything is telling me that this is the moment to click Whirlpool right now as it gets some more free damage on it. And I think it got a pretty decent high roll here because you're gonna see uh, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. And um, I'm kind of worried about Polydo here, but everything is telling me that I should Whirlpool right now. And getting rid of the Snorlax, really, I mean, it's still does a lot of damage. Let's, let's not get that twisted. But being able to deal with it uh, this way would been would have been the best way if I just called that correctly. I was too afraid that it would go back into the Vaporeon, that it would give it a free switch into the Vaporeon. I didn't take the chance to Whirlpool there. So I go into um, Ampapom. I named all my uh, League Ampapoms Kyle, and I never know whether or not people get that it's a reference, that it's like a blatant reference. But this week I felt that it was fitting to like just make it explicit, like this is what I'm talking about. So anyway, my plan was to go into Ampapom and Garf Switcheroo, but this is the turn where he reveals Substitute and I can't Switcheroo a Scarf onto the Snorlax. I mean, this was one of the most upsetting moments in this match where I realize um, at this point there's there's nothing really I could do. I just have to like get some damage off with uh, my Ambipom to try to clean up with something else. Later, when I saw Substitute, my heart sank. I wanted so much. I mean, I literally brought Specs Trick and Scarf Switcheroo. I wanted to get something onto the Snorlax and I never got the opportunity to, and oh, my heart just sank. But it's okay, it's okay. We can come in here with the Cell Seal. Unfortunately, the rain stops, uh, which really does suck because uh, it can get these fire punches off. I really wanted to flinch with the Iron Head. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna lie about that. Um, I was just feeling salty at this point, and realistically, I should have brought like Aka Berry, um, Cell Seal, or something like that, but I didn't. Either way, it's not the point point is, two Iron Heads are going to finally be able to take this thing down, but this thing has worn down my team so much, and if I just had the balls to Whirlpool, when I had the chance to Whirlpool, I could have survived the Snorlax relatively scot-free. I would have gotten the Parasong Song off, I would have gotten a Protect off, or no, I could have just gone for the Triple Protect. There was no reason not to at that point. Either way, now we're in a situation where this thing tries to come in, uh, it tries to force a switch, gets a free Aqua Ring off, right? I honestly don't even remember why I went out to Politoed. I mean, I, I mean, I guess it must have known that... Oh, okay, okay, so I do remember. I was a little bit flustered here because I genuinely 100% forgot that I did not end up putting Seed Ball on a Celesteela. I go into Politoed just to set up rain for uh, Ludicolo here. But I 100% forgot to put Seed Bomb on a Celesteela, and I would have just gone for Seed Bomb. I meant to. I would have gone for Seed Bomb, at least try to, you know, mitigate any, like, substitute shenanigans, but I never got the chance. Anyway, not the point. Super scary. Source is uh, Scolipede right now on the screen. I am incredibly scared at this Scolipede, but I'm behind a sub. As long as I can hit this Hydro Pump, I ran the Calx. Even outside of rain, the damage roll maxes out at 103%. I had a chance with a super high roll, but in rain, guaranteed. I miss. I'm gonna take a second here, right? So we need to talk about what this end game is looking like without Scolipede in it, right? This last four mods are the Clef Key, which already has a specs trick onto it, which only has status moves and play rough, right? We have a Zygarde, which literally my entire team is built to 1v1. My Gardevoir, like I said before, is EV to take a plus one thousand arrows after rocks. I would've gotten a moon blast off. I would've done something to weaken it. My Swampert is max max HP and defense, and it takes thousand arrows like a gosh dang champion. It is insane how well it takes them. And of course it has the ice beam. It's going to two hit. Even at the range of HP that Swampert's at now, Zygarde Guard does not two hit in return. We have the Infernape, which I found out later was Scarf. He meant to bring a Life Orb Infernape. But at this point, all I had to do was reset up the rain because Ludicolo in rain guaranteed outspeeds Scarf Infernape, no matter what. And then of course that leaves Vaporeon. Now Vaporeon could have been a problem, 100%. But I found out later, this Vaporeon does not even have Wish on it. So I would have been able to wear it down over time. Now I'm gonna go off the top of my head, but if I remember right from our conversation, it's Aqua Ring, Baton Pass, Scald, and so up, right probably wear it down over time if anything uh if it gets stuck in with ludicolo ludicolo can seed bomb it and its only attacking move is quad resisted so 
I feel like I had the matchup overall. Once the Snorlax and the Squallopede were down, I have Mons that can 1v1 the rest of his team. Now, no doubt if it came down to say like Klefki and Vaporeon, that could have definitely been a huge issue because if it gets a Toxic off and then uh, threatens Water Absorb, then I am in a little bit of trouble. But realistically, I still feel pretty confident about how well I would match up. I mean, obviously Leo is fantastic and who knows what would have happened, but I think I have a chance at this matchup. Either way, we can go on from there. So I switch out because again, I know Ludicolo still has uh, some usefulness in rain. Uh, for any type of Inferni that's that's gonna come out, but even just like in general, I think Ludicolo still has value. I go into Celestia on this Mega Horn. I could be able to take it decently well. I do take it, you know, reasonably well. But that is quad resisted, I believe. I, I know it has a Sword Dance, but yikes. Okay, okay, this thing's strong. Now, in all honesty, I was thinking in this moment that the worst that it could do to me was Rock Slide. I wasn't thinking about Super Power, right? I go down. At this point, I'm thinking. I'm gonna get 5 out right? But I'm thinking, I still have Swampert out here, named Jesus. In later weeks, I should name it uh, SMDFT. Anyway, not the point. I bring in this thing. I think I could take a hit, at least uh, deal some damage. I don't know what to do at this point. Right, it goes for uh, Z Superpower at this point. And uh, I didn't know any of the rules on this one. Um, he was asking me later whether or not it was, it was Max Max. So, it, that kind of suggests to me that, that, that it was somewhat of a rule, I don't know, but but uh, ultimately this thing just takes it out from where it's at. And it sucks. At this point, I kind of just think that I lost, right? But, uh, I have one or two plays left in me at this point. I have one or two plays left in me at this point. I bring in the uh, Politoed. And this is the first time, after all these turns, I finally reveal, well, okay, I, I protect first, fine. I, I got a turn of lefties, which could have ended up mattering if you got any bit of a higher roll, because um, I think you'll see that I recover like 12 HP. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, right there. So uh, it could have come into play, definitely. Um, but this is where I finally get to reveal after all these turns, the Parish song as it goes for the Mega Horn. I live on 18, so, could have ended up mattering, that turn of protect, but I finally get to reveal the Parish Song, right? <coughs> and um, at this point, I st I'm still thinking it has Poison Jab, so I still kind of think that I lost. And um, I go... Okay, so we do play a little bit of mind games here. I thought about going for Protect. I super wanted to go for Protect. Um, but he just goes for the Superpower. I don't quite know what that was about, but... Um, a Protect would have been really good here, in all honesty. But I go into this, and this is where I finally find out that it does not have Poison Jab. I trace the speed boost, and he goes for the Mega Horn. Now, again, this is a fairly defensive uh, Gardevoir, specifically to take on the Zygarde, and that allows us to get off a Healing Wish onto the Ludicolo. So now Ludicolo has a uh, double speed. This Parish uh, count on Skullipede is down to one. If it misses a Mega Horn, then... I'm not saying that I win from this point out, but Ludicolo can come in and uh, at least take some Mons down with us, right? Um, so at this point, I'm just hoping to hit a Hydro Pump on a Mega Horn miss, which he never misses a Mega Horn, but he switches out, uh, fearing that exact scenario. As I just go for the straight up Hydro Pump, it does so much damage to this dang Zygarde. And um, at this point, I guess I'm kind of playing a long game at this point. I mean, it's kind of over. But he goes for the extreme speed. I go for the substitute because I know that's my only chance of taking some more mods out with me uh, l later in the game. And that's my only goal at this point, right? <coughs> so he goes for the extreme speed. I go for the substitute. And um, at this point, I know I can take it out with a with an ice beam. The only question is whether or not he's going to go for another extreme speed. He does not. Um, so there we go. Ludicolo is, came in and 1v1 this Zygarde. Very quick light. Um, so from here on out, we're just gonna see what else we can take out with us. In comes the Infernape. Uh, again, found out it's Scarfed. Uh, super effective Scarf U-turn. Fine. We get taken out. I go for the Hydro Pump, just, again, trying to do damage onto something. If you could gone into Vaporeon, it would have been bad. Not gonna lie. But, 
ends up going for the school of week. Now, again, I said before, um, this damage roll maxes out at 103%, and it lives on what I'm guessing is like at most three HP. And I, I just wanted, I just wanted to tighten up the score. I just wanted Rudy Cooler to get another KO. I wanted to tighten up the score. Uh, I wanted a respectable 3-0, <laughs> but instead uh, we get 4 owed but again, at this point, two of his mons are severely crippled. The Klefki has a Scarf tricked onto it, and the Vaporeon is more or less useless uh, without anybody to Aqua Ring and Baton Pass into. And 100%, I would have needed more firepower to deal with the Infernape, but in the end, this game was so, so, so winnable. And one last time, I will mention, I miss one very crucial Hydro Pump, and uh, never misses a Mega Horn on his end. Now, in all honesty, I'm pretty much fighting right now for uh, a pretty low seed on the playoff map. He's fighting for number one seed right now, right? So, so if we make, if we both make playoffs, it is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly likely that this matchup happens again. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully we get to that point. But with that, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. We'll be back soon. We're going to try and uh, make as hard of a push in these final four or five weeks or so to come out with the best record possible in order to uh, make these playoffs. So once again, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. And I'll be once again. Yeah.